it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Wow, that was really fun to watch her sign that book. And we're going to get to learn so many new signs by doing that. So let's talk about the essential meaning. You know, I heard a page that just keeps jumping out at me in this book. I'm going to grab my copy of the book. That last page of this book that we learned about in lesson two when we were talking about the main topic or the key details, it just keeps jumping out at me that it's really important. So I feel like Margaret Miller was trying to really get this page to us. So the one that says, with our five senses, we enjoy our world. And it's got a picture of this little girl at the ocean on the beach with the waves. And it just makes me think about how books help me see more of the world and how that painting, Le Gourmet, that we've been looking at helps me know even more about the big world around us, right? And then how all of these kids in here are doing something with their senses in the world, right? They're listening to things and they're smelling things. Let's, let's look and see if we can find anywhere else in our book that shows enjoying. What do you think enjoying means? What do you guys think? What do you think, Cassie? Yeah? What do you think, Penny? Yeah, enjoying means it makes you happy that it's something you like to do or you enjoy. Like I enjoy teaching you guys and I enjoy reading stories and I enjoy singing and dancing and hanging out with my kids and walking my dogs. I enjoy things like you enjoy things. I bet you enjoy riding your bike or playing with your friends or playing video games or watching YouTube all day or whatever you love to do. If you enjoy it, it makes you happy and I bet you use your senses to enjoy some of those things. Let's look in our book and see if there's any evidence. We need some text evidence, don't we? Any text evidence that shows anybody using their senses to enjoy the world. Well, this girl smelling that popcorn, every time I see her face, I think she's enjoying it. She really wants that popcorn. So I would say her facial expression shows that she's enjoying the smell of that popcorn. Yep, she looks like she's very happy. Even the girl smelling the horse. Now, I have smelled a horse before, actually. My friend has horses at her house and I've ridden horses. But I'll tell you, when I smell a horse, it's not an enjoyable smell to me. To me, smelling a horse is like, ugh, like, why would you want to? But this girl looks like she's enjoying using her sense of smell to smell that horse. Oh, the girl smelling the garbage doesn't look like she's enjoying that very much. But the flowers, she's enjoying smelling the flowers. This girl tasting her watermelon looks like she's super, super enjoying tasting that watermelon. So I think, I think that these pictures in here show a lot of kids enjoying their world through their senses. There's only a couple of, of pages in here where they're not really enjoying it. But I mean, we've got so many good examples of, of these kids and these families enjoying their world through their senses. So I guess what I want to think about is how do you guys enjoy your world through your senses? How do you use your senses to enjoy the world around you? Do you like to watch things with your eyes? Do you like to listen to music maybe with your ears? Do you maybe like to eat something delicious with your taste? Do you like to smell good things with your nose and with your sense of smell? Maybe you like to touch soft things, like Penny, she's super soft, with your sense of touch. Let me know in the discussion something you like to do to use your senses to enjoy the world and try to use a full sentence. We've been talking about sentence frames and the sentence frame I'm thinking of is this one. It goes like this. With my eyes, I see a beautiful sky. With my nose, I smell roses. With my tongue, I taste delicious pizza. With my ears, I hear my favorite music. And with my hands, 
I touch my soft penny penguin. All right, try to use full sentences and tell us how you use your senses to enjoy the world in the discussion. And Penny and I will see you soon. Have a great day.